Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Utopia Cubed Resurrected. We are playing the Feed the Beast Resurrection Pack. This is episode 6 and we're doing some Greg Tech. Last episode we officially moved out of the Bronze Age into the Steel Age, I guess you can call it, by making the Blast Furnace. And we're starting to get steel. Um, I've got quite a few steel plates made. Uh, we're up to 12 plates, so that's 24 ingots. Well, 25 with one in there. And I built one more machine. This is the extractor. This is used to make rubber. So you put sticky resin in here and you get uh, something. <laughs> There's like rubber somethings. Uh, here we go. Sticky resin use. And the extractor gets rubber pulp. You put that in a furnace and you get rubber bars. I've got a few of those. I'm not sure exactly how many I'll need, but we've got 12 of them for now. Um, that's the only thing I really did in between episodes. Uh, other than I kind of automated my turtle a little bit more. Um, whenever he's here, I have a filter um, that's set to oak wood uh, on this transfer node, so it'll pull out all oak wood out of the turtle. Um, the programming is now completely, it only looks um, at the, it doesn't do any compares. I think I showed that code last time. It's, it's only doing the uh, inspect to find out what's around it. So all it needs is charcoal for fuel and some saplings, and it's good to go. So all that is pulled out, it goes underneath. Oh, and I built this, a Coke oven. <laughs> um, this I figured it was just an easy automated way to smelt my wood without burning, wasting charcoal to burn it and no energy. So it's completely free, you just put oak in here and it slowly turns it into charcoal. And that's all I need is a slow source. Hey, and I get a free creosote out of it as well. Um, if I do happen to uh, run across some coal while I'm mining, I'll throw it in here as well and turn it into cold coke. Um, because it works twice as efficient in the blast furnace. Or not the blast furnace. What's this thing, stupid thing called? Yeah, this is called blast furnace. Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, let's see what's next. The next thing to do is to start... We have a decision. We can kind of upgrade our bronze machines. Um, you can see these are all... Um, I don't know, just regular steam furnaces. There's one... There's better ones. They're made out of steel. Uh, where are they? So, yeah, so instead of a small coal boiler, we can go to high pressure coal boiler. But that takes a lot of steel to get all these. So I'm probably only upgrade the ones that I really need to upgrade. Um, probably my macerator, because that's going super slow to macerate all those ores I have. And uh, I'm actually doing okay with four small coal boilers, so I don't think I'm going to upgrade those. As long as I keep those supplied with um, charcoal. Um, I usually run about two or three of them, sometimes four if I'm using two or three machines at the same time. Right now I'm only macerating and hammering, so I don't need anything else really at all. So we're getting two running, and these buffers are working great. So that's that's the upgrade. The next thing I want to do is start doing um, some like electricity. We're going to move in the electric age. <laughs> uh, but to do that, we need to make circuits. So let's let's focus on circuits first, and then we'll see if we can figure out a way to make electricity. <laughs> uh, to make circuits, you need um, molds uh, to make the casings. So what I, I mean by that, well, you don't technically need them. Um, gosh, I can't hit the right button. What am I, there we go. <laughs> Man, that was a fail. Um, so if we want some casings, um, like let's look at iron here. Iron, we have you know iron ore and then iron bars and then iron plates and then you can further refine those down to iron casings if I can find them. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> Is there steel casings? No? Because in IC2 you just had to like hammer them again and you'd make a casing. But what's weird is I'm not even seeing... There they are. Okay. I just missed them somehow. Anyway. So here's a casing. We can get them uh, hammer two iron to make a plate and then hammer the plate again to make a casing. Um, but if we look, there is a recipe using the alloy smelter uh, actually, probably just use this. Um, right here we go. Where if we use the mold casing, well, that's with tin. Oh, there we go. 
two 10 ingots make three casings, which is much better than having two to one. Yeah, so this triples your output for casings. So when we want to get into circuits, we really need this alley smelter, and so we need these mold uh, molds made for casings. So let's look at molds. Uh, to get a casing mold, which will be this guy, we need to hammer a blank mold. To get the blank mold, we need to hammer and file four steel plates. So I'm going to get two of those steel plates because we also need it for some other reason. So hammer and file four steel plates. We'll get one, two casings. We might get a third. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Next, we're going to hammer it. We're going to put the hammer in the right corner to get the um, casing mold. And then we're also going to get this gear. Gear is going to be useful when we start making our electricity machines. And we can make gears now. Um, but again, we're going to be more efficient doing it this way. So let's think of a gear, an actual Greg Tech gear. There we go. So here's just a uh, standard iron gear. You can see that we need four plates, and these are each two bars, so that's eight bars. And then each of these rods is another bar. So to make one gear takes eight ingots, basically. All right. But with a mold in the gear form, we can get from eight ingots to a gear. So it's a lot easier. We don't have to craft it, and we can just stick only eight instead of 12. So that's big as well. So that's what we're going to do the gear for. That's putting it in the right slot. And we got the gear casing. Okay. So over to the alley smelter. And let's put the casing in here. And let's see. Um, what is our objective? To get a NAND circuit. Okay, so let's look up a NAND circuit. There it is right there, a NAND chip, which is the Greg Tech one here. It's going to take some alloy wire and a um, casing, and that's a steel casing. It says refined iron, but it's really steel. I hope it's steel. <laughs> yeah, it's steel, okay. So, we need to get some steel, uh, not the fluid solidifier, some steel ingots it looks like directly to make the three casings. I should have one here. There we go. And let's go and just start with one maybe. Are you going to go? No? <laughs> Why not? Oh, a plate? No, that's not right. What the heck? Why isn't this not working? Alley smelter. Oh, two. Two to, two to three. Sorry, I was, thought it was one to three. There it goes. Silly me. Alright, so we're going to end up with three, uh, three casings. Next, we need to get these alley wire and tin wire. Um, the alley wire, we have to cut from a red alloy plate which we can get from red alloy ingots, which we can get, how? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's look at this. Um, you will need red, require red alloy, which is made in the alloy smelter by adding one copper ingot and four redstone dust. Okay, so we'll take that guy out of there, get those guys. One copper and four dust, it said. All right, let's try that. There it goes. It's doing something. Okay, so that made that red alloy ingot. Wonderful. Uh, let's get one more. Two, three, four. Okay. Probably need much more of this, but just make it once on camera, and then if we need more, I'll go get it. So that's the two red alloys. Let's go ahead and stick them in the hammer. And we can wash off this iron ore while we're here. Stick it in the furnace. That's still macerating up. All right, come on, hammer. What is it doing? <laughs> it's jumping everywhere. All right, we might need to start up a third one. We're using a lot of machines here. Okay, keep those topped. 
Not really topped, but at least going. Come on, dude. You got plenty of... Plenty of steam. Let's see it. Looks like this one just takes longer, maybe? Maybe that's the reason to get a um, plate mold. Because maybe it's faster in the red alley. But anyway. Alright, we got the red alley plate. And now we're going to need some wire cutters. So let's see. What do we need for wire cutters? We make those with three plates of any type, looks like, um, two rods, a screw, a screwdriver, file, and hammer. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, well, we don't have a screwdriver, so let's go into those. That would be a stick and two rods. I think we're going to make everything out of bronze for now, just until we get something better. So let's just take a bunch of bronze here. Now we're going to need our hammer to make that into ro um, rods. So let's get two rods there. Oop, do we need plates first? Yeah, we need plates first. Uh, we'll just go over here. I think. <laughs> let's look for rods here. No, it, oh, it's filing and get Ah, crap. Well, made an extra one there. These tools, you just get so confused about what's used for what. All right, two rods. We needed a stick. I think I have some already made. Yep. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Are you serious? How did he get in? Ah, oh, my door's open. Ah. <sighs> I wonder how much I lost. Why did my why was my sword not in my bar? I must hit T. All right. Well, do we have any wood or any chests here? There is a chest there. Let's start throwing stuff on the ground until we can find it. Man, that really sucks. Come on, chest, please. There it is. Alright guys, well, I'm going to clean this up, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. I'm not sure exactly what I lost, if anything, but that was that was kind of really bad. Um, let's try again. I'm going to use the work table instead of the other one that we were using, um, because the project table does not allow you to shift-click recipes in. I'm going to see if the work table does. I don't remember if it does or not, but it has most of the same features, plus you can save things. So, we wanted a screwdriver. And to get a screwdriver, where's the Greg Tech one? There we go. It was a file and a hammer. No, oh, it's gonna do this. Okay, hammer and a file, two of those, and a stick. There we go. Screwdriver. Cool. So I could have a tools work table and some other kind of work tables, that kind of thing. All right, so there's our screwdriver made. Now we need a screw, some kind of screw. And the screw is file with two bolts. A bolt is a... Wait, not a chainsaw. A saw on a rod gets us two bolts. Okay. Let's get the saw out. We're going to need to make one more rod. So filing... Where's the file? Filing an ingot gets us a rod. And then sawing the rod in half gets us bolts. And then filing the bolts to make a screw. Interesting. All right, we got a screw. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, and then we're trying to get that wire cutter still. Okay. Wire cutter was three plates, two rods, and a screw. I think I've got the plates in here. Two, three. I need another rod, so let's get one of those. Oh, I love that. That's cool. Okay. Plate, plate, plate. Screw. Do I need two rods? Yeah, it was two rods. Crap. 
Alright, let's try that again. Plate, 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 rod, rod, screw, and what tools? File, hammer, screwdriver. Okay. File, hammer. <laughs> so many tools. Screwdriver. There we go. Wire cutters. Holy crap. Now, what do we do with the wire cutters? I think we take... Oh, where's that red... This guy. I'll just do this out here. I don't want to say the recipe. Do we cut it? Do we cut it? How do we do this? There we go. One times red alloy wire. Out of one plate, I get one wire? Are you kidding me? Who's cutting this thing? <laughs> They're not doing a very good job of cutting. Ah. Red alloy wire. Is that the only way to get it? Cutting a plate. Oh, if I get a wire mill, I can get it from a rod. That's nice. Construed it out of an ingot. Alright, yeah, so we're going to cutting a plate. So we need a whole nother plate. So that's more redstone. Eight redstone, two copper. This is crazy stuff, guys. Alright, let's cut that plate. Give me a wire. Nice. And then the last piece of our, piece of our NAND circuit was the uh, tin wire. And that's the same thing, cutting a tin plate. Do I have a tin plate? Let's look. I have a silver plate, a bronze plate, and a copper plate. Not a tin plate. Okay. So take two tin ingots and call me in the morning. No. Hammer them. Okay, put those in there. It's all about multitasking, right? You guys powering away? Yeah, you still got plenty of steam. Good. Give me that, please. Cut the tin plate. And lastly, cut our last redstone plate. Come on. Come on. That redstone one takes forever. Fine. Let's get our uh, stuff ready to go here. So it was a one of you, one of you, one of you. I think it's two of you, right? Yep, there we go. So as soon as we get that second wire, we are good to make our first circuit. Dude, come on, <laughs> Greg. I don't have all day. I imagine like inside these machines if you go inside them there's a little teeny greg in there and he's like cutting it and he's hammering or he's cutting the wire yeah <laughs> that's why it takes so long okay snip this one into some wire and i think we're good to go there we go nan chip oh nice <laughs> now what do we do with the nan chip so to make a circuit we need Six copper wires, two NAND chips, and a steel plate. Okay, so that's kind of like a uh, old IC2 circuit recipe. It just made everything harder to get. Yeah. So we need two of these NAND chips, some insulated copper, which we get by having a rubber sheet with a copper wire. What's annealed copper? What the heck is annealed copper? Copper in a plasma arc furnace? What? Okay, let's let's not do that. How about this one? Does it work with just regular copper? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, well, let me take a quick cut and make one more NAND chip. And then I'll be right back and we can see about this insulated copper wiring here. Alright guys, we are back. I got the second NAND chip, I made up another steel plate, and I've got my rubber bars and some copper wires. I'm hoping I can do this. No. <laughs> uh, copper wire and a rubber sheet to insulate it. Okay, so I need to take all 12 of these that I made and turn them into sheets. Can I hammer them like this? All right, okay, this is what the, the point of this sheet mold, plate mold, wait. Hold on, let's make sure I'm doing this right. I do not want to waste this stuff. 
Um, let's look for rubber sheet. That might be easier. Rubber sheet. Shit. <laughs> rubber sheet is... Alley smelter. Here we go. Okay, so this is correct. So you do need this plate mold, um, but not for everything. It's much cheaper to make it in the hammer. It takes a little bit longer, not much, but it uses a lot less steam. This thing takes a crap load of steam. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and it's um, not necessary for everything, but it is necessary for this guy. I guess because it's rubber, you can't, like, hammer it. You have to, like, put it in a mold. All right, so we'll get six of these guys. Oh, at least it's fast. Okay, maybe it's not used as much as I thought for the rubber sheets. Cool, okay. So, six rubber sheets, six copper wire, make me six insulated copper wire. And now we go get this guy, and if, same recipe we've done forever in IC2. Six of those guys, two of you, and one of you. There we go. Electric circuit. <laughs> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, what the heck do we do with electric circuits? We can make them into integrated circuits. Okay, that's cool. Field generators, robot arms. I think robot arms are for automating um, Greg Tech machines. Could be wrong. An LV sensor, an emitter. Packager, disassembler, look, everything takes circuits and multiple of them. <laughs> okay, so let's let's talk about what we're going to be making uh, coming up. Um, in the Greg Tech Guide, it says the early electric area. All electric machines require power. To get started with Greg Tech's own version of EU, you'll need a basic steam turbine. All right, so this is the first thing we need to get, is a steam turbine. That is going to make... Is that going to take steam and make electricity, maybe? That would be cool. So, a basic steam turbine from Greg Tech. I'm going to find the right one. That's Greg Tech. Basic steam turbine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. So, we want some fluid pipes, but these are big ones, it looks like. Bigger than we were using before. Some tin rotors. Okay. <laughs> Uh, LV machine hole, machine casing, which takes a lot of steel and a wrench, okay. Tin cables, electric motors, more copper, more um, insulation. Whew, okay, this is not going to be easy, guys. This might take an episode or two, but at least for now, we are going to be done. We did, uh, we're electric now, we made a circuit, we are official computer nerds now, right? in the age of Greg Tech. So join me next time. We'll try and get that um, turbine going. If not, um, I'll go out and at least get all the parts so it should be pretty quick to put together. And we can try and get a little EU pumping out. What do you say to that? <laughs> if you like that, hit that like button. If you want to see more, definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, this has been FunShotX. I will see you later. Bye.